Welcome back to BS Small Engine's YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the stuff that I have learned in the 10 years that I've been doing small engine repair. So stay tuned. First off, listening to customers, right? So it's okay to listen to customers because that's how you find out some of the symptoms that they're having. But customers often lie to thinking that they're going to get their bill cheaper. And it ends up causing more diagnostic work than it should. So. Listen to your customers, but customers in this industry is not always right, unfortunately. Especially like, here's one. I put fresh gas in there. Okay, I always keep a glass jar, and I'll pour gas out in a glass jar, and you can see it separating. And, that, and I usually take that and I show customers that their gas is bad. There's no way their gas is good, especially if it's something that uh, that's comebacks. I hate comebacks. Everybody hates comebacks, right? For uh, that you did and they bring it back because it won't start after you worked on it. Well, 99% of the times, the one I see, I'll clean the carburetors. They'll go home. They'll use the old gas, even though I tell them don't use that old gas. They'll take it home. They'll put their old gas back in there and they'll try to start it and boom, clog carburetors again. Thing I would do is I would always check the gas. If it's bad, charge them again because it's not your fault. It's their fault. You tried to educate them, they didn't listen. So charge them again, right? You, ain't, you can't do this for free. Next thing is don't undercut your cost. Man, I've done this, or undercut yourself in price. I've done this a lot. I've hurt myself so much on prices, undercutting myself. One guy told me, if you want to be taken serious in this industry, set your price at a good price. He said, if you go too cheap, these people are not going to take you serious as a legit shop. So set your price at a good price. Most shops around here is about $80 an hour to $125 an hour, believe it or not. So, between, for like a small guy like me with no overhead, that is low overhead, not no overhead, I can do it for $50 to $60 an hour on small engines. I charge a little more on power sports, outboard engines, and uh, welding because it's just there's it's a different way different price bracket on that stuff um, when you look up parts here's another thing price parts markup people people ask I've heard people ask this before parts markup it's it's okay to mark up 20% guys if you do it at cost, you gotta think about this. You're taking your time, you're getting on your computer, you're looking up their part and stuff. That's taking time, that's time. Time is money in an industry like this. So, charge a markup on the part. Uh, what else? Diagnostics, right? Actually, someone asked about diagnostics in a live stream, and this is what I said. I don't charge diagnostic fee if they get it, the repair done here right but if they I give them diagnostics and they don't want to repair then I at least charge on what minimum of an hour because I spent all that time diagnosing their stuff again time is money you can't do it for free I 
Another big thing I learned, and I did this a couple times, being, you know, I'm a very nice person. I, I, I kind of fall for people's sob, sob stories. Don't do it, guys. Everybody's got a sob story. Um, always get paid before releasing equipment. You don't want to get took. You go and you spend all that money on part, or on work, you spend all your time working on that, and uh, then you're, you send it home and then you don't get paid and then you're stuck. You spent all that time, you didn't get paid and for nothing. You work all that time for nothing. In some states, from what I understand, Illinois being one of them because Robert Waters was telling me about this, if someone makes money off of that equipment, you cannot hold it. I don't understand that, guys. That is pretty stupid of the uh, Illinois government right there, state government. Because these landscapers are trying to make money, but trying to make a living. But we're trying to make a living too, guys. We can't work on their stuff for free just like they're trying to make a living. We're trying to make a living. We're just trying to survive just like them. We're no different than them, guys. Is we're fi they don't know how to fix, some of these guys don't know how to fix equipment. We do. So they're paying us for their knowledge, our knowledge. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really understand that one. Uh, I think it's pretty stupid. And parts deposits, guys, I don't do it like usually for like anything under like $20, but anything above $20, I do take part deposits. Why? Well, let's say that flywheel right there that I put on that wel welder, well, the welder ain't here no more. $300 in parts, right? If I was out $300 in parts, I'm just a small shop, right? So if I go, if I pay out $300 in parts and he don't pick up for two weeks I'm hurting I put out a lot of overhead I'm hurting so I do do part deposits on anything over twenty dollars because I don't want to be hurting I've had it before before I started doing parts deposits I would put out a bunch of money and then I'll be hurting the rest of the month trying to get by while waiting on these people because everybody's in a hurry until you get it done and they take their slow time picking up paying, right? So I think that's about all the advice I could give you. Maybe, I don't know. Let's, but uh, I'll, I'm sure there'll be more future videos. December 12th, I'll be giving away this roofing hatchet. I'll be putting a handle on it. It's a big Christmas live stream I'm doing with some big YouTubers. Good of the Land, Stephen Cox, the maintenance man, Princess Jamie, and probably a few other that pop in and out. Uh, I'll be December 12th, 7.30 p.m. here on my channel. We'll be giving away that roofing hatchet too after I put a handle on it. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you learned something in this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share this out. Let's make this one of the best small engine YouTube channels. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one.